we're back at Tualatin Island Greens in Tualatin, Oregon to take on another hole-in-one only challenge. Today's matchup, we have Brandon versus Tyrell. Rules are simple. We cannot advance holes until no someone way. gets a hole-in-one. Person with the least amount of aces at the end of five holes gets punished. It's kind of pleasant. Well, this is my last ugly sweater, but I think Brandon has me beat. I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Just like previous hole-in-one videos, I brought my good luck charm, Goldilocks. Last time I brought Old Pink, um, I lost Old Pink from last video, so I had to bring uh, his brother with uh, Miami Vice vibes to it. Uh, also brought Scott with me, so we're ready. Hole one is a 26 foot par three putt inspired by Disney World Palm Course. It just so happened to rain on our scheduled film day, causing puddles on the course. Not a good start. Even worse of a start. <laughs> Luckily, the puddles were on each side of the hole, not affecting our putts. No. I thought I had it. I'm swimming now. It didn't take but 10 minutes for one of us to nope. finally hole out. I know this goes without saying, but I don't want to drop the first hole to you. Yeah. And that's in here. It's to the left. Dude. Mm. How do you go to the right? Uh. <laughs> Nope. Oh. Nope. Oh. This isn't the hole we're supposed to struggle on, by the way. <laughs> Leaf. Nope. Come on, Leaf. Nope. Oh. Oh. Ooh. I thought it was bouncing out. Finally, Tyrell hits the shot, taking a one point lead early, but there is still a lot of mini golf left to be played. Well, we decided to show up for our hole in one video on a rainy day, and we have a water hazard in the middle of the green. So now we're going to ditch the putters. <laughs> And we're gonna go old Kobe style. We're gonna try to get that hole in one Kobe style. I like it. Hole two is a 30 foot par three inspired by Pebble Beach. We started off this hole just having fun, showing off our not that impressive basketball moves. No one saw that. <laughs> in fact, Trying to relive my basketball years almost ended my mini golf career. Oh. <laughs> ACL. Oh. ACL. Never again. Look at this thing right here. Yeah, I, I landed like this and went. <laughs> Thankfully, I was not injured, and we hold out nope. after 11 minutes. What am I doing? Nope. Dude, that was good. Oh! And just like that, Brandon sinks a jumper and ties this game back up at one point apiece. Well, Brandon, we're all tied up. Only three holes to go. Yeah, um, three holes to go. I'm not looking to do this punishment. Hopefully we don't have to hit through any more lakes here. So uh, it's a nice, clean, easy finish. Hole three is a 37 foot par three, inspired by Disney World Palm Course. This would be our toughest hole today. That one. This hole required a lot of luck off ricochets, often forcing us to retrieve our balls from a water hazard. I literally had it in my hand. We would consistently get close to holding out, but with every missed shot, the sunlight was vanishing. With time not on our side, we were rushed, and with one overpowered shot, 
Goldilocks went flying into a pond. After 15 minutes of searching with no luck, I had to sadly get a replacement ball. What up? You can find it. Huh? Oh, I'm gonna go get her ball. Yeah, My god, it's gone. After an hour and 15 minutes of trying, for the first time in the history of our hole in one videos, we agreed no one would get this point and we needed to move on to save daylight for the last two holes. Well, it's starting to get dark and we cannot make this putt, so we're gonna move on. And worst of all, I lost Goldilocks to a pond. We're not on this hole. Hole four is a 33 foot par three inspired by Pebble Beach. With no flooding or randomness to this hole, this would be a true oh, test of skill. That last second break. In fact, it only took five minutes for one of us to take oh. the point. No. Oh. Nope. Dude. Nope. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Looks good. And with that putt, Tyrell <laughs> takes the point and the lead heading into the final hole. Every uh, video I've been in, I've had to do a punishment. Uh, this video is no different, so I am hoping to bring Tyrell down with me on this last hole as well. I was hoping not to tie, but with the third hole being how it was, we might tie. Hole five is a 29 foot par three, inspired by TPC Sawgrass. It seemed like no matter what hole we played, water hazards would follow us. Luckily, we hold out after only 10 minutes to determine if Tyrell would join Brandon in the punishment. Nope. Ah, <laughs> Nope. Pow. Sit. Yes, sir. I didn't even see it. And with that clutch putt, Brandon takes the last point, ending the game in a draw. No one could take the outright lead, making both players today's big losers. I bought a pack of hot dog flavored candy canes. For their punishment, they must eat this sweet meat treat. Huh. <sighs> Oh my! Smell it. I, I'm Smell it. I'm opening it really slowly. Just. To oh kinda... my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it smells like meat flavored candy, like sweet meat. <laughs> okay, now that's out of the wrapper, the smell has died down a little bit. Oh. It doesn't taste like anything. I don't think I have COVID. <laughs> it's uh, kind of tastes like, uh, if you really think about it, like if you eat the Lucky Charm marshmallows by themselves. Okay, the aftertaste is pretty bad. It's like sweet, salty. I'm Gross. I'm not sure how to explain it. 